Nice County Talk, I'm joined by Jordan. Last one of the season, Jordan. Unfortunately, we didn't get to Ashton Gate. Um, 4 2 loss. How do you see that? Obviously, it's disappointing. Um, so much hope on, on getting promoted. But actually, I think the way we performed towards the end of the season and uh, the manager change and things like that, I think the strength of the playoffs as well, we've done well to to get to the semi-finals really yeah yeah I mean at one point it looked like we were dropping out fantastic when we got against Chesterfield and I've genuinely felt not so going to win today I really really did the way we've been playing um, but then this goes after 35 seconds don't they then the whole game's different yeah we, we make it hard for ourselves um, obviously you want to start on the front foot uh, and, and get a lead in the game and we literally do make it hard for ourselves. It, it, it's typical not <laughs> not to do that, um, and so really it's not too much of a surprise. But yeah, it, it's typical not to to concede like that. Um, I think we we gave it our all, and uh, yeah, we we can still be proud of of what we've done this season. I know expectations at the start of the season, promotion, automatic, the way we played for half of the season or, or up until most of the season you probably couldn't argue with how the league panned out I, I, I think where we, we finished was probably right in terms of how we performed and, and the results that we got matched that yeah. um, and, and so really you can't be too disheartened I, I don't think obviously right now it's raw but you can't be too disheartened you talk about typical knots four seasons a relegation three playoff defeats it does not get much worse than that I mean yeah, next season's massive. This season we thought we were going to go up as champions and I'm sure a few other teams did. Let's not disrespect Sutton, but Sutton won the league. And in a season that Sutton won the league, you know, you think we missed a trick there. We I, do. I think this season was tough. If you compare it to last season, um, the playoffs last season, the competition last season was not on the level it was this season. This no, season was another level. Um, so many strong teams and it's probably only going to get harder um, so we need to look at improving scouting all, all what we need to do but we can match that and I think we can do a job um, going forward but you can only look at the four like you said the relegations and the playoffs um, the only thing you can take off is that quote is that are you not entertained <laughs> like, yeah. that's literally the biggest quote of Notts County's life so yeah I mean it feels like especially for, for people our age very limited success I mean yeah. even when there's success it's tarnished by something isn't there so it is what it is um, I want to ask you well I was going to ask you for sort of man of the match but it, it feels very very irrelevant at the minute I thought we were alright as a whole I thought we played alright yeah we, we did play alright we was a bit sloppy at the back in terms of we wasn't tight enough on our men at the set pieces um, we let people attack the box a bit too much for my liking um, I think because of the goal you have to give it to Rodriguez that that goal was something else I, I think you'll be lucky to see that in the Prem the way he's, he's dived for the header and, and actually got it on target um, not many players can do that so I, I would give it Rodriguez today. Fair, fair point I mean you look at the next season full pre-season for Birchinall some of his players in players like Rodriguez that didn't start the season well fans back in Oh, make a massive difference. Po Positivity's there, isn't massive it? Massive difference. Fans back in, we don't lose or draw half of the games we did last season. Kings um, Lynn at home doesn't happen. Yeah, so many games doesn't yeah. happen. And especially with the attacking mindset that we have now. I know obviously people will say, oh, we can get caught on the counter. But the threat that we have going forward, it, it, it makes me remember when we got promoted from League Two. Every time you, you watched that and we, we went forward, you thought we was going to score. And I feel like now, every time we go forward, every fan thinks this is the chance we're going to score. So I, I'd rather that than just sit back for 90 yeah. minutes or try and play a game out for a draw. So I'm very looking forward to next year. This is why I'm not too dishonoured now, because although we probably, from our last however many games we probably deserve to go up on the, the quality of football we play um, but excuse my language it, it is a shit house league and there's so many teams that come here and shit house the, the league and, and the season um, and we've just got to learn to 
see games out, score more than the opposition. Obviously, today was unlucky with the ref. He, he should be disciplined. Like I was saying in the nav, um, yeah. I get disciplined if I make a mistake at work. That ref should be pulled into a meeting straight away. What are you doing? Ridiculous. Because if we were, if it was three two down, deflates the team. It does, but there's still a chance of coming back. If you're four two down in extra time, I don't care how professional you are. Every person mentally will be thinking it's not happening. Yeah, so I agree. He's, he's ruined the game at that point. Really, I agree. Um, Jordan. Lovely having you contribute to the channel for this season. We'll see you next season when uh, hopefully yeah, something yeah. a bit more to celebrate. Yeah, thanks for having me. Cheers, Jordan. Come on, you pies.